fell in love. He'd had to work somewhere out. I know he will. Where's my dad going to get 6,000 quid from, Lisa? <sighs> no chance. He won't give up without a fight. But it's 6,000 quid, Lisa. I know it sounds a lot. With more chance of winning lottery. What about the pigs, eh? What are we going to do with these if we get chucked out? Oh, you've not been there all night, have you, Biff? Ah, stick kettle on. Oh, you've got to sort yourself out, mate. Oh, mind your own business. If you want my advice... Which I, I don't. If you love Tara, you shouldn't worry about what other people think. I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's what she's done to friends of mine that I can't stomach. Friends I can't even look at in the face anymore. Do you know what, Lisa? What, love? Ever since you married my dad and became a dingle, this has been the happiest place I've ever lived. Oh, butch. Hey, the dawn of a brand new day. Well, apart from that black cloud to the side of hill. Yeah, well, by sunset tonight, that black cloud will be nothing but a memory. Dad, we've got more important things to talk about than the weather. Butch, you look less cheerful than the man at his own funeral. I don't want no more of your mithering today. Where are we going to get the march? Trust me. When Zack Dingle puts his mind to something, there's no he can't do. You got an idea then, Zack? An idea? Do you really think that I would see my family out on the streets? So what is it? Yeah, what is it then, Zack? Right. Where are you going then, Zack? I'll be back later. And when I do, this place will be ours for the rest of our living days. You won't do out dodgy, will you, Zach? I won't. Well, what are you going to do? How the heck do I know? I don't let on to them. But I promise you this much, Lisa. I won't let you down. Oh, Zach, don't make promises you can't keep. Because at the end of the day, what really matters in the house is you and me, and the family. And nothing can tear that apart. So I went to kiss him, and he turned his face away. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right, you have a good old laugh about it. Oh, Rachel, it's probably an accident. <laughs> Still felt a real pillock. Will you see him again? I hope not, I'll probably die. <laughs> anyway, he's supposed to be moving to Houghton, so hopefully I won't have to see him again. What are you like? With men, a walking disaster. Oh, well, join the club. <laughs> Thanks for staying over last night. No problem. For listening to all my woes. It must have been very boring for you. Tara, you're never boring. I just needed to talk, get Biff out of my system. I don't think I succeeded. I haven't told you this before, but uh, I spoke to your father just before he died. Oh. Yes, he uh, talked about you. He, he was worried. Why? Well, with the breakup of your marriage, how you were coping. What did he say? Well, he wanted me to keep an eye on you, look after you. I told him you were quite capable of looking after yourself. Why are you telling me this, Michael? Tara, you are one of the most capable women I know, and one of the strongest. And I think that you'll get over this relationship with Biff much more quickly than you think. Oh, hi up. Ah, oh, glad to see someone's busy. Don't tell us. Lady, are you nice at a change of heart, eh? We're not going to lose the rules over our heads. You've been reading the wrong fairy tales. Don't suppose you've any bright ideas, Jack? I wish I had. I know it's no comfort, but I went through the same when Frank Tate forced me out. Ah, but you'd enough brass left after sell your farm to start up again. Me and Ned ain't got two farthings to rub together. Yeah, well, it's bad news all round. Uh, tell you that it's tearing us dingles apart. I've got to do something. Yeah, but what? 
I'm gonna have to swallow my pride and go cap and ham to Lady T. You can't start doing things like that, can you? But well, what else can I do? Anyway, she ain't such a bad lass. We all thought that till this lot hit the fan. Will you come with us? Not a chance. Zack, don't give her the pleasure of kicking you when you're down. Ah, you're right. I'll not go begging to her. Proud moment, Cathy. Oh, this American nonsense. I think we've been through all that. <laughs> well, we haven't got any Americans living in Emmerdale. <laughs> Come on, Betty. All right, Eric. Kathy's down, eh? Opening today. Aren't you going to wish me luck, Eric? Yes, of course I am. In fact, I'll bring you down a nice bottle of vintage 1985 cyanide. <laughs> Can't stand a bad loser. Don't rub his nose in it, though, Kathy. Even the same with me. Maybe you've got to feel sorry for him, though, haven't you? No. no. Betty. What do you want? Can I have a word? Betty, please. Right. Come on, Kathy. Let's see this diner of yours. I wish Emma didn't have to go. Pardon me. You're gonna snuggle before she leaves? Grow up, Rob. What? You're talking like a big kid. I thought you said you wanted to snog her. It was for a laugh, but that's all. What are you two plotting? Nothing. Well, that'll make a change. Right, you can help me set the table. Hiya. Here you go, you put Hi. that on the table. I'll get it. Lunch is nearly ready. Thanks. Hello. Oh. You know, I'm gonna miss you all oh, so yeah. much. Well, we're going to miss you too, aren't right. we, boys? Thanks for letting yeah. us know. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, that was the airline. The flight's been cancelled. Really? Uh, well, they've managed to get you on an earlier one, so I'm afraid we'll have to leave sooner rather than later. You do know how I feel about you. I don't think you do, not really. I love you very, very much, and that's why I'll always be here for you. Thank you. I think you'd better go. Marry me. What? Marry me. I know I can make you happy. Please. Don't say anything. Just listen. I know how you feel about me for the moment, and I know that you can never feel the same passion for me. Michael. But that doesn't matter. I can give you many things that Biff can't. A stable, caring relationship, financial security. I, I couldn't marry you for money. A partnership based on the common ground we've shared for many, many years. Tara, I love you more than you will ever know. And all I ask is that you think about my offer. Don't turn me down now. Consider it very carefully, please. Ah, oh, there. I've wanted to say that for a very long time. Thanks very much for coming in today. Before we start, I'd like to introduce you to two new colleagues. Mrs Whitehead, who's joining the English department, and uh, Mr Clark, who is... Sorry I'm late, Mr. Dobson. I, I seem to have got lost. Can I have a word? Mr. Dingle, there really is nothing I can do or say. You're chucking us out of our home, for goodness sake. Do you think I want to? Of course I don't. I have no choice. You can't need the money. Look at this place for starters. What's 6,000 quid to you, eh? Note. To us, it's, it's like trying to buy the world. I know that, and I do sympathise, but... Look, I don't want your sympathy. That costs, Nate. Look, 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 just say we could stay on our farm. I can't. You're a reasonable woman. I know you are. 
Please, Lady Tara. Let us keep our home. I'm sorry, but I can't make one exception. If I did... Please. Please. I'm asking you. No, I I'm pleading with you. Don't do this to us. Now, I I'm a proud man. But I'm begging you. Please. Please, Lady Tara. I'm sorry. Honestly, that woman is driving me mad. Who? Laura Johnston. She's got me going through every single financial transaction at the stud since we opened it. Why? She's assessing its value. I really have had enough. I want out. How badly do you want out? Very badly. Well? I've been thinking, and I've come up with an idea. What? Well, come on. What? We steal one of the stud horses. We sell it on the black market. And then we claim the full insurance value. We'll make a killing. <laughs> See, most valuable stallion is Orsino, and he's worth what? 200, 300k? We get 200k from on the black market, plus the full insurance value. Now, we can't touch the black market money, so we'd have to sit on it or put it in a foreign account or something. Once we get the insurance money, we have to move abroad. What? Well, perhaps South America. I know it's a big move, but we'd have a very, very comfortable lifestyle. Are you crazy? There's a timetable for you. And uh, a pen at the school. In case you get lost again. Why... Why didn't you tell me that you were a teacher? I oh, know what it's like. I get fed up with jibes about short hours and long holidays. I felt such a fool. <laughs> it's not funny. It is. If I'd known you were going to be working here, I wouldn't have... You know... There's no harm done. I was embarrassed. Don't be. Excuse me. <laughs> and I embarrassed you. You didn't. I was flattered. Really? Really. Shall we just forget it? Please. Kathy just wants to say goodbye before you leave. Oh. Okay. Shh. They're here. Oh, yeah, they're here. Shh. Shh. Surprise! Well, caught her out. You got you. She looks great. Yeah, I still like to snog her. So would I. <laughs> Can everybody listen, please? Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Thank you. First, I'd like to wish Cathy every success with her new business venture. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Um, and now I'd like to wish Emma all the happiness she deserves in her new life in Germany. I'm sure she's not going to miss mucking out or being woken by the dawn chorus. You mean Robertson Andy? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, Emma, we're all going to miss you very much. And I'm going to miss you too. And what time is my plane? Well, actually, it was never cancelled. You? So who rang up? Um, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's not the last supper. Cheer up. There's me dad. He might have some good news for us. I won't build your hopes up.
Sag. Dad? Did it all work out, Dad? You're right, love. You said we'd be all right, Dad. You promised you'd sort it all out. Leave it out, Butch. But you promised. You promised us. Butch. You did, didn't you, Dad? But we're still out on our ears, aren't we? Aren't we? Look, even if we are, it's not the end of the world, is it? You what? Well, families are about people, not places. Paddy's right. Yeah, we should be thinking on the positive side. Start looking for somewhere else to live. You don't know what you're flaming talking about, mate. Cut it out, Butch. What are you done? It's OK for him to talk like that. He knows that at the end of this, no matter what happens, he'll be OK. He don't care about the rest of us. Doesn't he? Well, he gave us 250 quid. He can afford it. He can afford to rent a flat and all. But what about the rest of us? Butch, I, I am just as upset about this as you are. Oh, yeah. Upset. You ain't even a flaming dingle. Butch! That's enough! Well, is he? Is he a dingle? Butch, I said that's enough! He don't flaming care about us, Dad! Butch, get out of here now! Dad? I'll not have us fighting amongst ourselves! Now get out! I'm getting a full audit on the stud farm, but as far as I can tell, it's looking very, very good. I estimate your share. Tara, you're not with me, are you? Sorry, no, I'm not. Sorry. What were you saying? It can wait. How about a drink instead? Please. <laughs> G&T. A double, I think. Do you uh, want to talk about it? Michael has asked me to marry him. Ah, a triple. <laughs> Just pass me the bottle and a straw. <laughs> and uh, have you given him an answer? Not yet. Do you love him? I'm very fond of him. Mm. You're fond of Michael, but you love Biff. In a nutshell. Well, Michael would solve all your financial problems. Oh, that's not a reason to marry him. Some would say it's a very good reason. So you'd marry him? No, I'd follow my heart. It's what I've always done. Really? Yes, and it's got me into an awful lot of problems. You sound like you've had a lot of experience. Mm. You'd be surprised. Very surprised. Now, finish your drink, and then I think you should follow your heart, don't you? <sighs> and Jack and Sarah, this is absolutely fantastic. And thank you for everything you've done for me. Which brings me round to Robert and Andy. In spite of everything, I'm going to miss you two very much. We're going to miss you as well, aren't we, Andy? But before I go, I'd like to give you both something to remember me by. It's something that I know that you've both wanted. What? <laughs> Serves them right. Another couple of years, they won't be running away. <laughs> hey, you all right? Yeah. Wish you were coming with me, Will. I oh, know, but I can't. No. It, it's not just about my A-levels. I've gotten used to my independence. I don't think I could live with Mum and Dad again. I know. Take care. And you, all right? Come on, Emma. We have to go. Looks like you've been having a party. Help yourself. So why have you come round? Why are we doing this to each other, Bill? Oh, I think you know the answer to that. I'm like a leper in this village because of you. And you know I didn't have any choice. If this is all you've come to say, I think you better go. What is it? Michael's asked me to marry him. Mr. 
Maybe it was my fault. Oh, no, it weren't. But it just gets too wound up and then he can't control his temper. <sighs> Still, maybe should go and have a word. Leave him be. He brought it on himself. He's very upset about the house, Zach. Yeah. Aren't we all? But we don't turn on each other. He's got to learn that we stick together as a family. I can't take much more of this. Seems like everything's fallen apart. Lisa, this family will never fall apart as long as I'm head of it. Oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's just that he said such a lovely thing to me earlier. And it upsets me to see him like this. Come on, love. So why are you telling me? Oh, come on, Biff, stop playing games. You know why. Have you said yes? Of course I haven't. I wanted to talk to you first. Oh, to ask my permission? No, Biff! Don't do this. I want us to talk. I don't want you to block everything I say. I need to know how you feel. Why? Biff! Like that. What do you want me to say? I want you to tell me not to marry Michael. I can't. Well, then tell me that you still love me. You do, don't you? Answer me, babe. All you have to do is say that you love me and I won't marry Michael. I, I can't. Say it. I, I can't. Why not? I don't love you. I thought I did, but I was wrong. You marry Michael because we haven't got a future together. <laughs> 